Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to create a virtual CD drive. So you don't have to waste a CD when you're burning something onto a CD. So you know how people use ISO files all the time and they burn it onto a CD and then they waste the CD. And some other people what they do is they burn it onto a USB and run it from the USB but then they waste a USB. So a good thing is a virtual drive which you know, you don't have to waste the CD or DVD and you don't have to wait uh, for it to, you know, load, I guess. So, yeah, so search for Google for Damien Tool Lite. And what this product is, is basically you could have a virtual ISO CD, a virtual CD, and you don't have to waste the time it's pretty fast because you don't have to burn an ISO file and it's virtual so it's pretty cool so you could download this uh, off the, this website so click to download the free version uh, to be honest with you I do not know what the difference is between the free and the paid version so yeah once you download it then basically all you have to do is open it so it's right here with this icon so this is how you, it will look when you first get it what you're going to do is you're going to oh, let's open my computer so I could show you so right now you see I only have three other drives so what you're going to do is you're going to add a drive so now you could see there's one more drive over here which is a CD drive but right now it's empty so now I have to add an ISO file so click add files and then here yeah, I could add any of these types of files which is typical CD files and then this is uh, a Linux ISO file which I got off their website and now it's right here now what I have to do is select this and select this and hit the place or mount button then it will mount the image just takes a couple of seconds and already I saved the CD and then I could run it right off this I could just double click on this and it will open just as if I burned this ISO file on an actual CD so this is a pretty cool tool and then when I don't want it all I have to do is uh, open this or yeah open this and hit the X to the drive so remove the drive and it will remove the whole thing so yeah so now it's gone uh, you could remove the file with it I guess if you don't want it but there's no file cause the drive is gone so you could add as many drives as you would like so uh, just to show you that it doesn't have a limit well, it might have a limit, but you could add like way more than one. So I added one file, now two drives. Takes a couple of seconds to add the drives. So now I have three CD drives, four CD drives. But you know what? There's no point in me just adding empty CD drives, but it's pretty cool and yeah save yourself a CD and go virtual so yeah and there's other virtual stuff out there which you should really look at so it's a pretty cool thing uh, thanks for watching and if you like this hit the like button got my first dislike yesterday yeah thanks for watching and bye